Why they still hate? Why they still hate? I don't know. We gon' rain forever. We gon' rain forever. We gon' rain forever. Uh huh. Put up in my nation, why they still hate? Sons of God stand up before me. We ain't got time for no car, cause you feelin' our people head up with abomination. Waiting for the Lord, we still patient. Truth coming out, it's real blade. I got a holy die, I don't eat bacon. Watching out for them gutter rats, they still fake. They ain't no Jew, we the real Jews. Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Had to cut them up with a script right quick. Had to let them know I ain't no church dude. Nah, I ain't no church dude. I'm an Israelite, all about war, pull a sword. Gotta show the man what the verse do. Came with a friend, he gon' do himself a hearse too. Y'all, y'all, y'all should've known I don't play like that. Cut him up once, then he came right back. Cut him up again, then he fell right back. I don't get why he wanna catch a fade like that. I think he played himself. Oh, yeah. I think he played himself. Uh -huh. We the best in the world, that's top shelf. We the Israelites coming for your wealth. Yeah. Rain forever, we gon' do it big. Yeah. Break the nations like a little twig. In the streets, we get it in. We got precepts that'll split your wig. Why they still hate? I don't know. Why they still hate? I'm putting on for my nation. Hey y'all, we out here teaching that you so called black. Out here, the life going to the Bible. That we God told to teach. And look, hey, I'm gonna tell you something. Look at our elder man. Still posted up all corners, kicking it. They need to be trying to figure out how to help get our people out of the condition they're in. But you know what? Our elder man did the son of God. Matter of fact, give me turn about chapter 5, verse 25. Still want to act young. Still want to be young and hang out on the corners. Sit up in a Walgreens parking lot when our people in the worst conditions ever. When the hell are we going to wake up and repent and teach our people who they are? Hell, they don't even know who they are. Read what you got. Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 25. Your iniquities, your iniquities have turned away these things. God said our sins have turned away things from us. Read. And your sins have withholding good things from you. God said our sins have withholding good things from us. Read. For among my people are found wicked men. God said, for among my people are found wicked men. Among his people are found wicked men. Our people with We refuse to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. That's why we're in the conditions that we're in now. That's why we're in, that's why we populate the poorest communities. Give me good on Twitter and verse 15 real quick. So if y'all don't wake up and repent, it's destruction coming to this place, and y'all ain't even preparing for the destruction. How many of y'all preparing for war? How many of y'all prepared for famine? How many of y'all prepared for an earthquake or a tornado? You ain't prepared for no destruction. Bring and when the destruction comes, you, you are looking for the white man to protect you. Bring it out. You're looking for the other nations to protect you. you hoping FEMA show up. you hoping the Red Cross show up. you hoping the National Guard show up and help you. But you can't help yourself. You are defenseless and a weak nation of people. Why? Because you did so big to God law. God has put his hand upon you. Right. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That means it's going to happen. Moses told us if we don't keep God's laws, things going to happen to us. If we don't keep the covenant that we made with the Most High God, things going to happen to us, right? To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said all these curses, all these evil things gonna come upon us and overtake us. This is what we're going through right now. I see you looking at this side. This is the third kingdom of Israel. You so-called blacks, you so-called Negroes, Jamaicans, and all and all Haitians make up the southern kingdom of Israel. God said for being disobedient to his laws, evil things was gonna happen to us. Give me verse 16, read. Curse shall not be in the city. He said, curse shall you be in the city. Look at the neighborhoods we lay in. Stay here. Who populate the poorest communities in every city you go to? When you look about a black man, where the black man at? In the ghetto? In the projects? In the slums? Read that again. He said what? Curse shall not be in the city. Who populate the poorest communities in each and every city you go to? All the majority of the black people found. The more the majority of the black people found in the ghetto. Why? Because you disobeyed the laws of God. Read. And curse shall thy be in the field. Who was cursed on plantations? Picking cotton, picking corn, picking tobacco, picking uh, picking watermelons, picking rice. Who was cursed in the plantations? God said, look, this gonna happen to you for being disobedient. Curse it not be.
be in the city and curse shall thy be in the field. Read. Curse shall thy be. Hold on. Curse shall thy shall be thy basket and thy store. He said, curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Where your banks at? Where your savings and banks? Where your savings and loans? Bank savings and loans at? Huh? How many of you black men out here got more than a thousand dollars in the bank? Let's keep it real. How many of you black men out here got more than a thousand dollars in the bank? How many of you black women out here got more than a thousand uh, dollars in the bank? He said, curse should be thy basket and thy store. A basket is something you keep things in. Your store is your businesses. Where our businesses at? Why don't we uh why don't we own the businesses in our community? How you doing? Why come the damn uh, Arab owns just wisely? Why come the way uh, the Arab selling you cricket balls in South Memphis? Why come the uh Arab serving you herbal wine in the middle of South Memphis? Why come the Chinese uh, woman keep doing the black woman nails? Why come the China the Asian woman selling you uh weed and her weed and you put it in your damn head? You don't even own the businesses in your community. Why? Because you're a disobedient group of people and you don't give a damn. This is the reason why. Look at these older men right here. Look at these older men right here standing behind us. This is the reason why we don't got a damn thing in our communities. For real though. Our older men have forsaken us. They don't keep the commandments of God. They still hang out on the corner like little boys. Give me first Corinthians chapter 11. You don't see no white older men out here. I don't give a damn what type of car you drive or how successful you think you are. You don't see the white man out here. The white man trying to think of plans how to uplift his people. How to be the next billionaire. Right. For real though. How to continue, uh, how to continue to magnify the white race. But look at us. Hell, you, you, these are, that's why the older men do what the young, that's why the younger men do what the older men do. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. When I was a child. You that? Paul said, when I was a child. Read. I spake as a child. He said, I spake as a child. Read. I thought as a child. He said, I thought as a child. Read. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. He said, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Why the hell are you still doing childish things? Tell about people to wake up and repent. It's destruction coming to this place. Right. Give me uh, Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and 4. Start here at 3. Tell about people to wake up, man. We're tired of this. We come out here every day and still none of y'all ain't repent. None of y'all ain't keeping God's commandments. None of y'all don't love God. You sure don't know our God. This a joke to y'all. It it's funny to you. That's why when your destruction comes, God gonna laugh at your calamity. When your destruction comes, your ass goes. When your destruction comes, you're gonna be praying for the God in this Bible. Right. Time for our people to wake up, man. There ain't no time for jokes and playing. Right. When these damn armies come to America, you're gonna be calling for God. Cause the damn white man ain't gonna protect you. This ain't no joke, man. We don't come out here out here every day for people to continue a joke. Bring it out. So keep joking and mocking us. They did the same damn thing with Noah. They mocked Noah too. And look what happened. That damn flood came in on the world. Read what you got. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. So now he built Jesus Christ on the Mount of Olives with his apostles, read. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? So now they come to uh they came to uh Christ over, hey Christ, when the end gonna be? Jesus Christ, when it gonna be the end of times? Read. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? When is gonna be the sign of your second coming? When are you coming back to take the kingdom and right that is restore the Israelites in order? Read. And of the end of the world. And he said, when is gonna be the end of the world? When you gonna judge these nations? Read. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So the first thing he said, look, hey, take heed, don't let no man deceive you. Don't be deceived, read. For many shall come in my name. He said, many gonna come in my name. Who came in the name of Jesus? Who came in the name of Jesus? This white man right here, named Caesar Boucher. He said, men are gonna come in my name. Your Christian pastor said he a Christian. He came in the name of Jesus. Your Pentecost pastor, he came in the name of Jesus. Your Catholic priest, he came in the name of Jesus. Right. He said, men shall come in my name and do what? Well, many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. Many gonna come in my name saying, I'm Christ, I'm a Christian. I follow Christ. You ain't no damn Christians, you ain't no followers of Christ. Right. I can look at each and every one of you out here right now and tell that you don't follow Christ. You don't even believe in Jesus. Right. Keep it real. Keep it real, you don't even believe in Jesus. You wanna know how we know you don't believe in Jesus? Because Jesus is a black man. And this is the image that I've 
been taught to y'all. That's the image that been taught to y'all, the damn image of a white man. You don't even believe in Jesus. You don't know Jesus. You don't even get the commandments. For real, what white man you know, what white, what white man you know laid his life down for one black man? Destruction. It's destruction coming to this planet, Aubrey. Woe to the world 
and them that dwell therein. And it's destruction coming to the people that dwell in it. Hold what you got. I'm going to show you why. Go to 2nd Andrew chapter 7 verse 20. There's destruction coming to y'all that dwell in it. Son. Why? You refuse to repent. You refuse to quit eating unclean food. You refuse to quit defiling your temple. You refuse to keep the God high holy day. You, so you refuse to reference your Sabbath on uh, his Sabbath. You refuse to obey mother and father. You refuse to quit committing fornication. You refuse to quit uh, being a doctor. That's why destruction coming to you. That's why you're going to die. You refuse to stop getting drunk. Read. Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life. There's going to be many people that don't die. Many people that don't perish in this life, read. Right? Because they despise the law of God. You're going to die because you despise the laws of God. I will really refuse to take off them damn pants to stop looking like a man. Right. Every woman that got on pants is cross-dressing right now. Read out. You got men that's wearing dresses. You're a cross-dresser too. Read that again. Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life. Many of y'all gonna die in this life, what? Because they despise the law of God. Because you despise the laws of God. You gonna get put to death because you despise the laws of God. Go right back to Second Ezra 14, verse 15. Where would you got? Second Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Why? Because you despise the laws of God. Destruction is coming to those people in the world that dwell in it because you refuse to keep the commandments of the Most High. You love getting drunk. You love getting high. You love popping pills. You love sipping surf. You love committing adultery. You love committing fornication. You love eating good, clean food to battle your temples. You gonna die. Right. Right. For the sun and their destruction draw nigh. God said your destruction is drawing nigh. Every other day you know something about to happen to you. Death is coming. The spirit of death is all over this place. The spirit of death is all over Memphis. You want to know how we know the spirit of death is all over Memphis? Because here you had 105 black men die. Within 150, 60 or so days, you had 105 black men die. The spirit of death is here. The sword is showing her. And a lot of y'all don't get put to death. You're going to be like, why well, I'm dying? You're dying because you refuse to live. You refuse to hearken to the message that God sent you right now. Right. You refuse to wake up. You love being asleep. You love that Budweiser. You love that Coke 45. You love that Newport. You love that damn crack rock. You love that heroin. You love that weed. You gonna die. Right. Right. And to fight against another. And swords so in their hands. Read that again. Read that again. You say what? For the swords and their destruction draw near. God said for the, for the sword and destruction draw near. War is coming. Read. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. It's not that happening. It's not one people standing up. That's because it's happening in America. That means it ain't going to come here. Oh, okay, they fighting each other. We safe over here. We safe over here with the white man that's shooting your ass down every day. <laughs> oh, they fighting in Russia. We safe over here. White man, old master don't, old master don't protect us. Old master ain't going to let no harm come near me. Oh, oh, this, this white man is good white man. The same white man that hung you from trees. The same white man that cut the baby out of women's stomach and made gator bait. Y'all know how you get the book called Medical Apartheid. I know you don't want to hear, uh, 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 I, I'm, a, uh, I, I'm an intellectual black man. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm an intellectual black man. I don't want to hear what these niggas got to say on the street. I already know. That's why your ass is going to die. Read what you got. For the sword and their destruction draw near. Yeah, I say, you the war and your destruction is coming near, we. Right? And one people shall stand up to fight against another. It's not one people fighting against another people right now, we. Right? And swords in their hands. We have good guns in their hands, huh? And not they fighting against each other, we. Right? For there shall be Sedians among men and invading it's ones. It should be what? Sedition. It's that for it should be sedition among men. He said it's gonna be sedition among men and what? And invading one another. It's not that invading one another right now. It's not uh, Russia invading Syria. It's not Russia invading the Ukraine. It's not America invading or uh, invading Afghanistan. Y'all don't give a damn though. You wanna know why? Cause nobody ain't invading America. God saved him the best for last, and y'all gonna go with America. You wanna right. know why? Because you damn black people became Americans. Right. You are not Israelites.
rights no more. You are Americans. That's why you gonna go. That's why you gonna go with America. You gonna get, give me a uh, second, uh, give me Revelation 18. I'm coming back to that. Give me Revelation 18 and 4. You gonna go with America. You wanna know why you gonna die with America? Cause you think you're American. I'm American, man. I love America. America is the greatest place on earth. All oh, master don't protect me. All oh, master give me a job. All oh, master, oh, master be a good house. Read what you got. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven. You hear that? Children of Revelation said, I heard another voice come from heaven. Read. Saying, come out of her, my people. God said, you need to come out of the philosophies of a man. Right. You need to come out of the sin of a man. Right. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. It's great judgment coming to this place. And God is calling for the people to come out of her. Why? So you will not be partakers of the destruction of the sins of her sins. Right. But you refuse to repent, though. So since you refuse to repent and keep God's commandments, you're going to die. Since our women love being hard, you're going to die. Since you love loving every man, since you love open your legs for every man, let him run it through, uh, thrust through you, every other damn day, you will die. Right? And that you receive not of her plan. He said that you receive not of her plan. God better send every damn plan known to man right here to this place. He said, come out of here, my people. Why? What's the problem with this place? Give me Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. Read out. Read out. And we're going to come right back there. What is wrong with this place? Time for y'all to wake up. Y'all ain't even here enough. Look like you're going to die. You heard but you ain't listening. You heard but you ain't listening. And you don't have to hearken. We come out here. We out here to teach whether you heard from her. We know y'all hear us, but you don't have to listen. You don't have to take heed. You don't have to take heed, because when the search comes, guess what? God don't laugh at you when you call upon him. That's according to scripture. Right. Not, no, no, not my God. My God will not laugh if the search comes. My God, man, your damn God, not you, you know your God won't, because you don't got no God. But our God going to laugh at your ass when the search comes. Why? Because you refuse to repent. You refuse to take heed to the message that God is sending you right now. Right. Read what you got. Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Just like it is now. Just like it was during the time of Noah. It's the same way now. The wickedness of man is great in the earth. Y'all don't care about it. You don't love your women. Y'all women don't love themselves. You want to know how we know how women don't love themselves? God give you straight natural hair. Everybody get a pearl. Everybody get a weed. All the time they they got purple hair, yellow hair, green hair, orange hair, blue hair, red hair. A damn rainbow in your damn head. Bring it out. The black women want to blow her in their head now. Blow, that's the white woman, huh? You ain't no white woman. You want to be the white woman, the white woman want to be you. Right. That's how we know you hate yourself. Black people hate yourselves, man. Y'all hate yourselves. Read again. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. God said, look, I see, God see that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Just like it is now, right? Eh? And that every imagination of the thoughts of the of his heart, every every imagination of the thought of man heart on this planet, Earth, was only evil continuously. It's only evil continuously. Go right back to Revelation 18 and 5. God said, every imagination of the thought of your heart is only evil continuously. That's all you think about is evil. You sitting up there doing your car riding around watching porn. You and your car riding around smoking weed. You jump from woman to woman to woman, then when you get her pregnant, oh, ain't mine. Ain't mine. You love making hoes out of our sisters. Y'all wanna know why? Y'all wanna know why I hooked our sisters prostitute now? Because you made a whore out of her. When she was trying to be a good woman and be with nobody but you, you pushed her away. You pushed her away to Jack. You pushed her away. Now, what's the name? John. You pushed her away to John. Read what you got. Revelation chapter 18, verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven. God yes, said, America's sins have reached to heaven. Read. And God have remembered her iniquities. God said, I have remembered her iniquities. Read. Reward her even as she rewarded you. God said, look, I'm going to reward her even as she has rewarded you. That rewarded us with death, captivity, bloodshed, America part nine, black genocide. God's gonna reward her 
but it's the same way. Go right back to second edge of 14. Time about people to wake up and repent. Pick up where you left off, Henry. For there shall be sedish, sedishness. It says it's going to be sedition. Read that again. For there shall be sedition. It says it's going to be sedition. Read. Among men. Among men. There are some bitches among men, read. And invading one another. He said it's going to be invading one and another. Uh, not these countries obey one another now, but just because America ain't getting obeyed, that means America, God saved the best for last. He said, I remember her iniquities. He said, I see it to reach the heaven. Wait. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. They don't care about your king. They don't care about your president. They don't care about your president. They don't care about your princes over there in Arabia. Wait. And the course of their action shall stand in their power. And it said, the course of their action shall stand in their power. They're going to go to war. War coming and they're going to war. Now, a lot of our people ain't preparing for war. You ain't ready for no war. Right. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. I've seen a video of some women, black women on top of that, fighting in IHA. I'm going to ask the black woman one question. Why in the hell do you got to fight in front of your kids? Why in the hell do the black woman got to fight in front of her baby? You got a baby crying, mama, mama, but yet you sit up there, you got to fight. I'm telling you, man, you black women are a damn disgrace. You fight in front of your kids, you have sex in front of your kids, you work purple, green, yellow, orange, blue, and pink hair, and wonder why you can't get a real man, because you fake as hell. You will never be able to get a real man being fake the way you been, fighting in all in public, all wretched. Give me all Proverbs 28 and 37 real quick. Being all wretched out here, all wretched. And then you say that you wretched. Tell five people to wake up. How y'all doing today? And you know who you are according to the Bible. Do you want to learn the laws of God? Come on right here. Y'all want to learn the laws of God. The, the, uh, the floor is open for you to learn. The floor is open for you to learn. Y'all need to learn. You need to know who you are according to God. Let me show you something. Look at this sign. You said you know your nationality, right? If you know your nationality, that means you know what family of the earth you belong to. Look at this sign right here real quick. Look at this. The white man changed your name to American black, West Indian black, Haitian black, Cuban black. Every damn type of black it is, he put another name in front of it. What do God call you? Look at this sign. You can read it, right? What, what, do, what do God call you? What you is? Uh, what is your father? So what do God call you? Uh, no, what do God, God call you? Look at the other side. What do God call you? What they say right there? Right here. Judah. You from the tribe of Judah. Right. According to God. Now, look, let me show you something. Give me John about 14 and 2. Now, do y'all go to church on Sunday? Y'all do go to church, right? And what do you learn in church? Tell the truth. What do you learn in church? I'm doing a black and white you, you, you learned I mean, what? It was a black and uh, white. It was a black king and queen before a white king and queen. And God. And God what? What you learn about God in church? I want to ask you something. Hold this up real quick. Who is this? Young man, who is this right here? Who is that? Who is that sister? Who is this? Who is that? You got many different faces. Who they tell you that this man was right here? Oh no, God. You know this ain't Jesus, don't it? You know that? You gotta ask yourself, young black man. You think the white man God tell the truth? You think he got? You think he got? Why do you think he got? Uh, hey, yeah, you you right. But why do you think he got? Cause you got the young black girl. The young black girl said, "Oh hell no, God black." The young black man said, "No, God white."
Shalom. This, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.